Hey everybody, this is me Mari and welcome back. Today is going to be the first trip of the summer. We're going to take the ARPA to the river and I'm going to bring you with me. It's a Memorial Day weekend. Right here we're going to be driving to the Kinnick River where my husband and his friends are going to be flying the paramotors. And then we're going to stay the night too. Look at our view. It is just stunning. I was around 7 in the morning when we arrived there. And it was a little raining by the house, so we were so excited to get some sunshine. Here's the, here's the iPod. It took us longer. We were supposed to come here last night, but uh, by the time we got it out, clean it, everything has to be clean, even though it's clean. By the time we put it away, we have to do it all over again. Look at our view. Just stunning. I did not put sunscreen, and I did got a little bit of sunburn in my face. Here's Sam. She's looking at her dad because he's ready to uh, take off with the paramotor. And here we go. This is going to be his first flight of the day. I think he ended up doing two or three on Saturday. I can't remember. It was nice wind. It was perfect. This was around probably 8.30 in the morning. You see there were small people already coming. It got to be a super busy weekend. A lot of people with uh, road vehicles was there. A lot of dust. But it was, it was beautiful. It was totally worth it to be there. The mountains are just amazing. Uh, I cannot tell you how, how beautiful everything was that day. And there's another of his friends taking off too. And here's our simple dinner. I usually try to bring better things, but trying to get the other part ready it was kind of uh, busy, took all my attention. And here's going again for another flight. This was in the evening, and I'm going to show you how beautiful the rest of the evening was. This was probably around 9.30, I'll say, maybe 10, 10 o'clock at night. Look at them. That is so cool. They're brave. I will never do something like that. Yeah, Sam, look at her. No, she did not destroy the screen. The cats did it in the past when we were in Montana many, a couple years ago. But look at this view. I was just, I spent the whole time outside and that's what I got, a little bit of sunburn. So, so beautiful. Beautiful Alaska. Very dusty. And right here was one in the morning. And I think I mentioned that this was Memorial Day weekend. That's our flag. Next morning, I think this was Sunday morning, a little bit more flying before we go home. It's time to go home. This is our RPAT 179 and our Smoky Mountain Jeep. We got them together and they have taken us so many beautiful places all over the United States. And this is one scary moment for me. We have to cross the river and a few weeks people will not be able to go to the area that we were parked because the river will be too um, high, I guess. And we are going home. I was, this scares me always, but we were fine. I'm going to show you what I film from the inside. And this is just a few hours after we got back home from our trip. We put everything away, cleaned the art pad, and decided to go and explore Hatcher Pass. This is one of our favorite summer places to visit because it is so beautiful. Look, we're going up an elevation. 
we uh, enjoy just bringing chairs and sitting by the river. Sometimes I bring picnics and it's just so much fun. Also, we like to hike here. Sam has a really good time because we go where there's like nobody. If you visit Alaska, even during the summer, you will be able to see a little bit of snow in the mountains. And that's the house of Mr. and Mrs. Bieber. I wish I would have seen them. Oh, many of them. So, so pretty. Very cold, a little bit colder here because we still have some snow like you can see. I'll introduce you to one of my new friends from distance. We went as far as we could go because there's still a lot of snow and the road is closed. Actually, that's the road right there and um, I went to check it out. I think this area won't be open for a few more weeks so we won't be able to get to the summit. But during the summer, we'll come back and I'll show you. There's a lake and uh, it's just so beautiful. The Jeep is right over there. Sam was having a blast. She loves because she can just kind of be free when we go places like that and we brought her dinner because it was around 6 30 by now here i wanted to show you how tall the snow is it's taller than the jeep that's why this area takes a long time for the snow to melt. Uh, it won't be completely gone on until probably July. Oh, the water must be so cold. And this is such a pretty place. I'll show you in the summer because I always wanted to go and climb over there. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it together this summer. Yes, the wind chill is dirty. It gets dirty within minutes. Anyway, we're going back home and on the way we're gonna pick up a couple of pizzas. We have not gone out to eat in about three months so i'm gonna really enjoy a couple slices of pizza and my favorite show at the moment oh they look so good actually they are pretty good And this is how the plants are going. They're growing super fast. I keep them covered at night because it's just been cold and rainy. And uh, these for sale signs were here in the house when we moved. We were going to get rid of them the other day. And I was like, no, I probably can use them. So I cover everything at night. I did the same thing last year. This is how I look when it's covered. Um, last year, I only had like a less than half of what I have right now so it was super easy to cover just with a couple of the red chairs there um, yeah but this is how I let cover and this gave us an idea well we had it on on our list to do and I will show you that with you in the next video This is Strawberry Hill and I came here to clean the weeds a little bit. I do that a few times during the summer. The rhubarb seems to be doing great. I just finished, um, I load um, five wheelbarrows with wood chip and dump it in an area of the property where it was, it's been sinking for a while. So it's now it's like a kind of like a bigger hole. So we're gonna get that fixed. But I'm working right here, getting rid of some of the weeds and it's kind of raining a little bit. So I'll show you when I finish. Okay, here I'm done. It is raining a little bit more, so I'm gonna head back to the house in a minute. I'm gonna show you, it's looking better, definitely. Um, tons of little new plants this year. And like I mentioned in my previous videos, I would like to grab a bunch of these little ones and put them in some pots to keep near the house. So that's what I'm probably gonna be doing in the next few days.
And this is the area that uh, that it was sinking, and we I just put uh, some rocks and some five loads of wood chip, and we're gonna cover with more stuff and dirt. Hopefully that can be done today. I had a couple pieces of salmon left from our trip this weekend. Actually, this is the last salmon that we have in our freezer from our last summer. Right there, I have a couple plantains that I'm gonna be cooking. Well, kinda like cooking with a little bit of butter. And then I make some toasties so we can eat them with the salmon dip. What do you think? They look good, huh? And this is Benji, he's my old man. He's gonna be 15 this year. And this is Patch, Patchy. And over here in the window, there's Reese's, there's Kosh. Coming right here next to me is Tin, and over there is Bruski. Here my husband's gonna have some soup for lunch, and then we're gonna share the salmon dip. They turn out pretty good. Fresh cut grass. This is the second time that he cut the grass this season it has to be done very often otherwise it gets completely out of control and then becomes difficult for the lawnmower so i'm gonna miss not having the wildflowers and all that stuff but i think this year we're gonna keep the lawn short and right here he's working and we're gonna be done with this little project it's incredible everything adds there's little projects here and there but you know what they're fun they keep us busy 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 and uh, here he's almost done he's gonna put whatever i have in the wheelbarrow in here you can see pages and flowers everything is out uh, nothing goes back to the porch anymore uh, i just waiting for a few more days and i'll be able to plant everything if you hear a cat in the back Ground is because it's being annoying and um, yep look at all these beauties I am so excited for this year I work so hard but you know everything is looking really really nice and here we're going to town and I'm gonna try to explain what we're doing as best as I can because I really don't know much here is Sam we went for some training and she is going in the water well right there she made a mistake she was supposed to jump in the water a little bit earlier so she backtracked and then she was in to get the bumper that the other trainer throw, you can see him there in the back, and there she's swimming. She's gonna have a competition this weekend, and there's a lot of training going on since, you know, she's only been swimming for the past few weeks, since everything was frozen. And a trainer that you see back there, actually he is the breeder. He owns Sammy's mom and grandma. And behind us, there was five more dogs. Actually, Sam's sister was there too, and they are so adorable. They love to swim. I can't believe how much they learn. And right here, he's going to start correcting her because she will want to go inland. And she can't in a competition. She has to stay in the water. That's a long distance to swim. I always feel like it's too much for them. But no, they can swim long, long distance. And right here, right there, he keeps correcting her because she wants to go in the land. And nope, she's going. She has to finish. And there she did. She did really good. We moved to a different location and she had to swim twice as long as the previous area. Right here, she's gonna get correct because she wants to go in the land. Uh, no, she can't. Then she turns around and realized, oh, okay, I know what to do. And then there she goes. I was supposed to stay home. I have a lot of work to do for the garden. Everything where, the place where the plants are gonna go, it's, uh, I have a lot of weeds to clean before I get everything planted. And, but no, here I am. And today is May 30, Thursday. You'll be seeing this video tomorrow, Friday. Actually, I do the voiceovers on Friday morning. I took more clips of this area and I will share with you on the next one because this one is getting a little bit longer. Very pretty, perfect for hikes for family. And look at her, she's getting there, she's almost there. She still needs to be guided to go exactly where she needs to go. And she did it. Thank you so much for watching and follow our adventures here in Alaska. In the next video, I will share how Sam did in her first competition. And they were the little spectators. They were so cute. There was a bunch of kids. Guys, I'm going to leave you with a little bit more pad and motor flying over the past weekend. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week. Bye.